Welcome back to All The Smoke. We have a very special edition coming to you live from Buffalo Wild Wings in Houston. Esso. The official home of March Madness. Jack and I linked up with Buffalo Wild Wings during the NBA Summer League uh, last, last summer, and we yep. did so good. They decided to invite us back, Jack. I mean, they feeding us, they paying us, they got beds for us, hey. they providing drinks for us. I mean, I might just call my wife and say, honey, kiss the kids, I ain't coming home. <laughs> <laughs> and you got and you got some wardrobe already. Yeah, so, I mean, you know, I got a, I got a, where's the, I had a robe, I got a letterman jacket, I seen some Buffalo Wild Wing underwear, like we are you got good food. in here. Too much sauce. Too much. Man, we got two very special guests today. Uh, NBA Hall of Famer, Showtime brother, Kansas great, Celtic great, Paul Pierce. What up, what up, Who's what eating up? the wings. Paul, appreciate you. You know what, you know what? We got H-Town legend, four-time W, damn, four of them things. Four-time WNBA champ, three-time MVP. Four, think, right? 1993's national <laughs> champ, gold medalist, uh, Houston Common Comets. That was Comets, right? They only shoot. had that team. Damn, no more. Shoot. Legend. <laughs> Cheryl no, Swoops. No Cheryl, thank you. We got a chance to have you. What's up, uh, y'all? We had you, uh, what was it called? Remote. Remote. Now we get a chance to have you in the building. How about that? Thank you guys for being That's here, man. We're going to have some fun. It's my friend. You know, as it's Jack knows, you know, we've been, you know, Jack is trying to turn it up for my birthday <laughs> the past two weeks ago. So we we shooting, we eating, we having a good time. Yeah. So what have you two been up to, P? I know you just got a new contract with Showtime. Man. Talk about it. How's life Man, these I'm days? Man, I'm happy to be officially a part of the team. I know yes, we've sir. been working for a few years now. It's official. I appreciate it. You know, I love working with y'all, man. You know, so it's, it's going to be fun, man. It's a fun. I love what y'all do with Showtime Sports, and I'm just happy to be a part of it, man. Yes, sir. What about you, Queen? What you up to besides eating that chicken? Besides eating this <laughs> lemon pepper, by the way. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Well, I'm waiting to see when I'm going to get my contract with Showtime. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I love that. Speak on it. That's lit. Just putting it out there. Speak on it. Ooh. What are we waiting so, on? What are we waiting on? What's the hold I'm putting it out there. Okay. Okay. Ooh, that'll be lit. But That's no, I mean, just doing a little bit of everything. Right now, I am doing um, some TV work for Athletes Unlimited. Yep. And just enjoying men around the game. Right. Love this time of year. You love, you love being full time? I do. You enjoy commentary? It, yeah, it keeps me involved in the game. I love mentoring. Mm -hmm. So doing the games, it gives me an opportunity to, you know, obviously watch the up and coming talent and players who are currently in the W, but also just to mentor and make Giving back, right. Well, and it, it keeps me involved and makes me feel young. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Can you break down the scoring system, the unique scoring system to us so we can oh understand gosh. it? Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I'm going to put this wing down. Yeah, and I'm going to get you a napkin. Mm -mm, mm -mm. No, she's going to lick them things. I don't need no napkin. I mean, yeah, okay. Oh, all right, right. That's, that's all we do. Okay. All right, all right. Well, you know, that's how it's supposed to go anyway. Okay. Yeah, and yeah. then I'll wipe. Yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> all right. No, so it's real interesting. Here's what I love about Athletes Unlimited, the scoring system, because it's not your typical two for two, three for three. So for every... Everything good you do, you get positive points. Right. For everything bad you do, you get points taken away. So there's a leaderboard that's constantly changing. And at the end of the season, which is next week, because it's just a five-week season, whoever is in first place, they walk away with the bag. Ooh. Okay. So twos are 20 points, threes are 30 points. Fouls, turnovers is minus 10 points. Oh, uh, 10. Mm, yeah. Damn. Yeah. It's, it's very interesting. It keeps the game exciting. And so they also get quarter points. So it's four quarters. And for every quarter you win, you get 50 points. Okay. Each player on the team. Each player? Each player gets 50 points added to their overall score. Mm -hmm. And whoever wins the game, each player gets 150 points. Ooh. And the last thing I'll say is, so every Sunday is a draft. So whoever finishes in the top four spots for that week, they're the captains, captains. Uh, on okay. Sunday. They have a draft, so every week it's a new team. Oh, okay. that's dope. Yeah, that's it's dope. Uh, different. I like that it outside is. the box thinking. It is, and yeah. it's it, it keeps the game fun. It keeps the game exciting. So last year when I did it, we had a triple overtime. This year, the other thing is, so it's run by the players. Mm -hmm. So there's a players executive committee. They kind of set the rules. They decide how they want to play. Yeah. This year, they said we'll do one overtime. 
And if it goes to more than that, they go by the ELAM system. Do you know what that yeah, is? Yeah, yeah. No. You know what that is? You know so I wasn't familiar with it. But so in the ELAM, ELAM system, they did first team to seven. Oh, kind of like, yeah, uh, like what how they do call? the, uh, the yeah. All Star game last that, year. Yeah, yeah, and they got that. It from is. The, it's a lot of fun. TPT or it's whatever. Very exciting. Yeah. Uh, Paul, you got a chance. Obviously, you teamed up with your former teammate and brother Kevin Garnett. You guys got a chance to go back to Boston recently. Sat down with some of their young stars, mm -hmm. Tatum Brown and a couple other. Uh, what was the experience like? First of all, being back there, but then sitting down with the future of that organization. Man, I think, you know, being that I, I've been with the Celtics so long, I just feel, and I tried to tell this to Kevin, because Kevin haven't really been back. And so I feel like it's our duty to come back and give the game to the, to the, yes. to the YGs. You know what I'm saying? Because when I was there, you know, I, I was constantly seeing Bill Russell, you know, JoJo White, uh, you know, Robert Parrish would come to the games, and, you know, it'd be times where I'd go to dinner with them and I'd get some game from them. You know, and I just feel like it's our duty to come back and just interact with the young guys because they they want us there. Right. Yep. They they want they want us to be present. You know, and they 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 feel a certain certain sense of energy because that's you know that's a traditional franchise. Mm -hmm. You know, where players is is up in the rafters and 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 like I said, we gotta be the next generation to pass it down to the young right. guys. And you know, we don't see that enough. Right. You know, and so we just feel like it's our duty. So to interact with Jason and, and Marcus and Jalen, uh, it was refreshing just to hear their perspective and what they thought of us because you don't know until you go there yep. and you holler at them. Be like, mm -hmm. man, you know, it was just like, man, thanks for coming around, OGs. We love when y'all around. Yeah. You know, come to practice, come to the games. You know, that that, that just show us y'all love. And then, you know, and KG, I've been back. Mm -hmm. But KG didn't understand that part of it. And now he like, man, I'm, I'm glad I came back, right. man. We got to start coming back more. Yeah. You know, just even like, even if we don't interact with them that day, just being at practice, Be just seen, being, huh? in the, being seen, being mm -hmm. in the building, that yep. means a lot to them. Yeah. And so it was good to just like, get that feel from them and, and, and bridge the gap between the OGs and, and the YGs. I think that needs to happen more often. Obviously, you know, John Morant is in the headlines right now. We wish him nothing but the best on, on, on his return yeah. to the league. But Paul, you know, and Cheryl, you know, our, your league started when you guys came in. But when we came in the NBA, our vets were 37, 38, 39, 40. And whether they contributed on the court off the court, they gave us so much game. Always looked they out, gave right? Us so it's much game, whether now. whether go buy some suits or stay Man. away from this, or invest in this, or put your money here, or let me be the bridge between the coach because he's tripping and the rest of the team. But the league is so young now that it's just young dudes leading young dudes. And if you got a lot of money, you're not listening to nobody. So well, you and that's, what, that's what's missing right. in the game. Right. And to your point, like for me, being the first player to sign, like I didn't, I didn't have a vet per se. But, but I had a Cynthia Cooper, oh, who had right. been playing right. overseas. Yep. And so Coop was the oldest on our team. And just, like, Coop led by example. Right. But she also was going to talk, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. But what I really appreciated about Coop was it didn't matter what she had going on off the court, personally. Like, when she came to work, she came to work. Mm. And you respected her for the time she put in, coming early, staying late. Right. And I tell people all the time, because they're like, how did you guys, like, get so lucky to have, like, to win the Ooh. first four? And Tina, when she came out, nobody really knew Tina coming out from USC. But because the league was new, they appointed the first two players, they appointed to teams. So I got appointed to Houston. Coop got appointed to Houston. But I think it's so important, to your point, that you have vets around, not just for what you can teach them on the court, off the but court. stuff you can teach them absolutely. off the court and about life. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, get nowhere. Cheryl, speak to your journey to college, because it wasn't traditional. You had to go to uh, Southern Plains Junior College first before you hit Texas Tech. What was that road like coming out of high school, making a pit stop at JUCO, and then landing in Texas Tech? Well, here's the interesting thing for me. I initially signed a letter of intent to go play at the University of Texas. Because back in the day, damn, that was a long ago. <laughs> back in the day, like Texas was, I say the South Carolinas of today. Exactly. Right? Or Texas was yes, the Yukons, the Tennessee. Oh, really so it. if you were yeah, I remember them. anybody that had dreams and goals of winning a championship, like That's Texas was go. the place. Mm -hmm. And so I didn't even think about another school, didn't look at another school. They recruited me, said, we want you. And I was like, I'm out. That's where I'm going. I got there, I was there for six days. And, you know, recruiting and things were so different back then than it is yeah. now. Mm -hmm. There was no transfer portal and, anyway, a lot. 
But I got there and it just didn't feel right. Mm. Like, it wasn't that I didn't think I was good enough. It just, it just wasn't for me. I remember I called my mom every day bawling. And my mom said to me, she said, oh no, like you, you made that commitment. That, right? That's what you decided to do without talking to me. So that's what you're gonna do. Was there any diversity there? Well, it was. Okay. But when I got there, it wasn't a lot of people on, on campus. So that was the first time I actually sat down and thought about the decision I made. Where am I? What am I gonna do? And finally, my mom was like, look, you're not happy. You're not gonna be happy. Come home. Long story short, I called the coach at junior college, South Plains Junior College that recruited me. And I said, I'm leaving Texas. I would love to come there because I didn't want to sit out a year. And if I would have gone from Texas immediately That's to it. Texas Tech, I would mm -hmm. have had to sit. So mm -hmm. I went to junior college, played for two years. And I have to tell you that that was my journey, but that was the best decision really? that I ever made. Interesting. Because not only did it help me with my game, it helped me understand how to balance being a student athlete and just just life, like off the court. Was that close to home too? Yeah. Okay. So I'm a, I'm a, I'm a home girl. Yeah, I wanted I get it. to be mm -hmm. by my mama. I get, it. And I get it. I get it. Truth be told, at the time I had a high school boyfriend. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh, I don't want to leave my boo. Okay. Yeah. So you go yeah. from South Plains and you take that jump after two years. What was Texas? So you feel like you were more prepared for Texas Tech once you Absolutely. got there. Absolutely. But I also knew that I wanted to be closer to home. Mm -hmm. So South Plains, I grew up in Brownfield, Texas. So South Plains, 30 minutes from home. Texas Tech and Lubbock, 45 minutes from home. So there was never a question of where was I going to go when I left South Plains. It was Texas Tech. And for me, the reason why I chose Tech, besides the fact that it was close to home, like I, I always wanted to be that player that wanted to change a program. Mm -hmm. Like, I didn't want to go somewhere where a team was stacked right. and just be another player. Like, I wanted to make a difference. And that's something that, like, I try to live by every single day to day, even though it's not playing, but I always want to put myself in a place or a space where I feel like I'm making a difference. So The tournament is in full swing, and we've seen a ton of upsets and crazy moments. There's no better place to feel the heat of the tournament than today's video sponsor. DraftKings Sportsbook. DraftKings Sportsbook has some can't-miss offers for all new customers. Place at least $5 on a pregame money line wager, and you'll get $150 in bonus bets if your pick cashes. Make sure you use my promo code SMOKE when you sign up. If you secure your $150 in bonus bets, there are so many ways to win even bigger. Try parlaying multiple tournament games together in one bet for a shot at even bigger winning. The more games you add, the more money you can win. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now. New customers use promo code SMOKE, bet $5 on any pregame money line wager, and get $150 in bonus bets if your bet hits. That's promo code SMOKE, only at DraftKings Sportsbook. Every Friday, head over to the DraftKings app and check out the All the Smoke Same Game Parlay. With the Same Game Parlay hits, you win big. See who we're taking on Friday. And if you like the pick, ride along with us. The action only happens at DraftKings Sportsbook. P, your journey. I mean, a lot of people don't know you're from the Bay. Born in the Bay, raised in, <laughs> raised, raised, raised in L.A. with the Inglewood yeah, Curl. Waiting on the shot. <laughs> you, the you, yeah, you, <laughs> hey, you, so how did you decide to go way across the country to Kansas? I mean, coming from California, going to Kansas, I'm sure that was yeah. a culture shock in itself, but how did you end up landing in Kansas? He was burnt. He was burnt. No. Wherever where he go, he's going to be burnt. So <laughs> no, look, no. I had, to, I had to get out the hood. Yeah, okay. No, I had to. Mm, right. Because you were super burnt then. Yeah, dog. It would, I wouldn't have made it if I went to Stay. UCLA or uh -huh. USC. Yep. Or, or, or just stayed in the Pac-10. You know, I knew myself. The streets of Inglewood. Man, I knew myself mm. and I knew the guys who I was hanging with. Right. I wouldn't have made it. So mm. I was just like, when I took my visit to Kansas, wow. it was just like, damn, it ain't it ain't shit out here to do. This is perfect. You, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It was just like, when you, 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 you get the reality check and when you losing homies in high school and mm -hmm. you seeing the path you on, mm. you know, I had to beg my teacher for a grade for me to pass, for me to go to just college. To get out. Wow. Just to get out. Wow. And I was like, I had got, I had failed the class, and I was like, I, I, I remember, and this was the one class you needed to, to get to college. 
And I was like, man, I remember going to Mr. Sanders. I was like, man, Mr. Sanders, if you just give me a D, I'm going to pass your class and I'm out of here. I'm leaving L.A. I remember I told her, I said, I'm not coming back here. Mm. Uh, a D was passing? Well, you just needed to get no F. Certain grade point average. Yeah, certain grade. Okay. I just needed okay, a okay, D. Okay. I got you. I got <laughs> and you. I remember I told her, I said, if you just give me a D, I'm leaving Cali. I'm leaving L.A., you know, because I was getting in trouble. I was missing school. And, and, and I was like, you know, I need to get my, my shit together. Mm. Yeah. You know, I'm going to focus on hoop and school. And that's one thing Kansas did because, like you said, it was a culture shock, you know? You know, I, I ain't know nothing about Kansas, but I knew going there, it wasn't nothing for me to get into. Right. right. And so I was like, I'm going to come here. Uh, it was the best situation to where I'm going to play on a, great, a good team because at the time, you said they won the national championship. And, you know, you know the Pac-12, the Big West, it was... And the, and the other thing was, Matt and Stan, and, and Cheryl, uh, I was the last of my family, so I left my mom alone. That was a mm -hmm. tough decision. Mm -hmm. Because my older brother was already out the house, so it was tough to leave my mom alone. Yeah. You mm -hmm. know? So that, that was a tough decision. Like, damn, once I'm gone, the mom's is on wow. her own. Mm -hmm. You know, so that was a tough decision to leave home. But I was like, mom, I got to do what I got to do. Yeah. Was there back and forth early? Because I know I went just right, right, right from NorCal to uh, UCLA, and I was homesick. I tried to push back to NorCal every weekend. Did you yeah. ever get a chance to come back and forth? You were just there. I didn't come back. Really? I didn't come By back. By choice? Yeah, by choice. So I come home for like one week in the summer, I'm back, I'm out. Really? Okay. I come home one week, say hi to mom, chill, I'm back in Kansas. Mm -hmm. I, it was times I was on Kansas campus by myself. Wow. Like, and it was just like, wow. I need to do, that's what, that's why, and I, that was the smartest thing I ever did. You know, mm -hmm. I was going to summer school, and I was like, I can't come home because of the guys who I grew up in, the guys mm -hmm. who I'm around them, they ended up dead or in jail. I'm going nowhere. And I was like, I don't need to be in that environment. Yeah. And so that was my road, and I'm happy I made that decision because yeah. people was like, why are you going to Kansas, you know, doing yeah. all this? I said, man, I'll, I'll see y'all later. Mm -hmm. I, got, I got a dream, and, and this is my way to get to that dream. Yeah. I tell Jack, wow. I mean, Jack was on the road to Arizona. Um, didn't happen. He took a different route to get to the league. But I tell people all the time, like, going to college, UCLA was some of the best times of my life. What do you guys miss, Cheryl, you first? What do you miss most about college? <sighs> Ooh. Ooh. All that bread. Ooh. <laughs> All that what? All that bread they were getting. <laughs> I ain't getting that. <laughs> they probably like, wasn't giving like, women I, players money back then, well, probably. Well, I mean, they probably got some under the man, table. Listen, man, come on, man. Like, she under had, the table. Man, she had her own shoes and all that in college, dog. Well, no, one did not. Yeah, you did. <laughs> Where did you get that from? They was lacing her when she was, uh, <laughs> showed up. You, you know, they, you didn't just You didn't just show up there because you wanted to. They got you there some type of way. Oh, I did not. Like, Man. my mama said, that's where you need to go. And this time I listened. I said, OK. Oh, yes, this time you listened? Mm -hmm. OK. I did. Right. I mean, they may have, you know, the little handshake with the <laughs> booster. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, you know, yeah, the yeah. game handshake. tonight. Yeah, you yeah. know, but it was nothing like today. I think for me, like, the freedom of just being able to Say you're grown a little bit. Be, yeah, right? And then the other part would be this time of year, like March Madness and the fans and like everywhere you go, it's all about woohoo, like what we're about to do. Oh, so you Ooh. said kind of the freedom to live. I felt like college was like that last kind of like our little bubble, like a little before we had to jump into the real world too. We got to live a little bit, but it was still like a little bit of a bubble. Because you still, even though you have that freedom, right? To at least think, think you grown. Yes. You still had somebody that was looking after, after you. you. Right. And I could still go home to mama. Mm -hmm. Right up the street. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I don't have that now. Mm, right. Mm, mm, I hear you. Man, Paul, I need for this you. chicken. Ooh. Man, that was my first time. You know, college is that experience where it's your first time on your own, especially me since I went so far away. I was like, oh, I got my own apartment now. You know, it's and your they first... look at California people different, don't they? Huh? Don't they look like California? It's like I, well, I've always found where I go other places. California. Oh, you're you from always Cali? look that. Yeah, you right? always look that Cali? different. You always look that different, yeah. right? They like they like they like our swag and, yeah. and all that. But they no, like... it's the Cali people. Y'all think y'all better than everybody else? <laughs> <laughs> it ain't no, about... I like that. We got you know we got a little pep to our step. That's, that's it. it. Yeah, that's, that's it. Chill. Oh, yeah, wow. that's it. We coming in confident. That's it. You know what I'm saying? We coming in confident. You yeah. know, we hollered at the girls. We like yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> my, mom, my mom was happy that I, I even almost made it to college. Hey, it's a thought that counts. Yeah, she you was thought happy. about going yeah, to college. I got an opportunity to go. 
I didn't make it, but just the fact that I tried, <laughs> that she was proud of me. Yeah. Yeah, she was, she was proud of that. But yeah, that was your opportunity to just like grow up. Yep. You know, mm -hmm. your opportunity to learn how to become a man. Because now, moms ain't washing my clothes. That's hard. She ain't cooking me them meals. Yeah. So that's where I learned just more responsibility. And it helped me become a man. You know, I started learning how to cook. I'd be calling mom like, hey, how you make this spaghetti? Mm -hmm. You know, how you put this What's together? Recipe, so that's why I yeah. learned how to look, make little dishes to get me through. Yeah. Start learning how to wash my clothes and earn my own stuff. You didn't so, do ramen in college? Hell yeah. Still do we that. Had, we had right training table. Almost we had training right now. I did more ramen in the league than <laughs> What's yeah. training tables yeah. go? Yeah, training tables. <laughs> training tables is shit. Training table, You can right? make yeah. that ramen 20 different ways, man. Yeah, right. You can make that a so, feast. Man, that's so why I'm glad I took that, that step. Yeah. Just to right. grow up and mature meet up enough. before mm -hmm. taking that step. Before making that big jump. Right. Mm -hmm. Cheryl, what was your first taste of NCAA, the NCAA tournament, March Madness? What was that like for you? Oh, um... I mean, like everybody, it's exciting, but I think the first one for me was like the unknown. And everybody saying we weren't good enough, we shouldn't have been there, like all of that stuff. But like, I've, I've never had a problem being confident in me and my ability and that, mm -hmm. like put me on the basketball court, that's the one place that like, you can't tell me that I can't do right. it. Right, you knew you was nice. Yeah. Comfort, yes. comfort. Like, I did. Right. But I knew I was nice because I put the work in. Right. I put the time in. I put the sacrifices. Right. So, I think for me, our my first experience was, like, like one game at a time. Not looking past right. anybody because it's like zero zero. It's a new season. Yeah. So, it doesn't matter what you did in the regular season because just like you're here, they're here. So... I just remember going into every single game saying, we got to win this one to get to the next one. We right. got to win that one to get mm -hmm. to... But I never looked past any opponent. Mm -hmm. And because of, like, the way I grew up and my journey... and So a lot of people thought I went to junior college because I wasn't smart enough to go to a Division I. But here's oh, what... you didn't pass the SAT, huh? Oh, that, they well, that's what they think. Why are you pointing? Uh, Why, are you pointing? Why are you pointing? Why are you pointing? I didn't pass it. <laughs> I took it about four, five times. I took it about four, five times. And you know what's, you know what's the worst Listen, part about it? what? No, tell me. Arizona won a national championship my rookie, my freshman year. Yeah, they put you us on. on that team. Damn. Now, I'm mad at you for looking what? at me, but boy, you <laughs> said it with a straight face. That was, that's they put us out. Yeah. <laughs> Mike Bibby and Jay Taylor. Listen, that's can you imagine, you can you imagine him on that team with my with with, with Eric Miles Dickerson, Simon. Miles Simon? Oh my Bim, god. With they would have won again because he, he would have been, been there. He would have been there after after Bibby and Miles left. He would have been there with JT. Yeah. Well, he wouldn't have stayed that long, but he was. Mike was your, your year, right? Me and Mike was together. Yeah. He wouldn't have had to stay oh, that long. Oh, word. Mm -hmm. Because he was out. Mike well, left after well, the freshman year. Well, he's 96. I would have left, too. Of yeah. course. Yeah, I'm 95, so uh -huh. we played them in 96. 96. Damn. Yeah, they put us out. Mm -hmm. They won the national championship. Yeah. No, but the thing Damn, is, like, that's there's cold. nothing. I didn't know that, Jack. Yeah, yeah, but there's nothing wrong with going to a junior college. No, they're right. And, and I always say everybody's journey is different. Mm -hmm. Yeah. For me, I didn't want to sit out, so I went to a junior college. But like I said earlier, the best decision right. I ever made. Mm -hmm. Right? So when you talk about, like, this time of year and the NCAA tournament, I just, like, the excitement of, like, get past this one and what's next and who's next. and Because ultimately, you're trying to win a national championship. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And because a lot of people told me when I left the University of Texas, I would never win a national championship. Mm -hmm. That was, like, the fuel that kept me. And lo and behold... Y'all won it, huh? Yeah, by right. ourselves. Oh, damn near. Damn, I forgot, yeah. All, all, the, do all the other teams had about four, five stars. She, you know, she had some good teammates, but she was basically Listen, out there by herself, We dog. played a 2-3 zone. Right. Right. Yeah. Our defense was a 2-3 zone. Right. And, and then, we won and a then, national championship playing a 2-3 zone. And then get the ball to Cheryl. Zone. Yeah, get the ball and move out the way. Get the hell out the way. It was. Move out the way. Paul, you guys had a tremendous... Allen Field, what was your home court? Allen Fieldhouse. Fieldhouse, tremendous home court still to this day. What was the biggest difference from regular season to March Madness for you? I mean, yeah, like you said, Allen Fieldhouse was amazing, Rockin'. fanfare popping, but the tournament, this is my first time seeing, like, the, the real fanfare, like, outside of the arena. So, mm -hmm. like, for me, you know, it was beyond the court. So, like, 
flying in my first tournament and going to the hotel and seeing all these people at the in the lobby. Because y'all travel well, too. Kansas Man, travel well. I never, right. You know, our mm -hmm. fans travel. I never yep. saw that. So, yep. like, freshman year, I come in, we checking in. They roping it off. And I'm like, damn, look at all these fans. It's about a 1,000 fans in the, in the parking lot, in the lobby, in the, in the valet. And then all these cameras from these television. And that's my first time, just so many cameras. And I think we talked about this before. Like, you know, as a freshman, our first time seeing it, I'm like, damn. Media. Media, just the mm -hmm. media presence was like incredible. I was like, damn, this is what it's all about. You know, because when I watched when I was in high school, it was just like, you know, you got chills watching it and, and just to be a part of it now, it was just like, it was wide. I, I was a wide-eyed kid. And, you know, unfortunately, I didn't get a chance to win a championship, a national championship. Just to be a part of it, mm -hmm. though, was just, uh, just amazing to experience every year. You know, a couple years we were the favorite and got upset, and that's the biggest heartbreak. Mm. You know, you, you can ever you can ever have that young. You know, because I hey, Kansas really... also got the best junior colleges. Yeah, they do. They, they got they the, do. the junior college with the most money in Kansas too. You know, that's crazy. You said I was just talking to somebody about that. Butler, uh, I went to yeah. Butler. Yeah, they do. I went there for four days. <laughs> but, uh, I was just, that's crazy so, you said that, Jack. How many days in Arizona? Talk to somebody about that. They got I, good JCs. Four days above. No, how many I, days in Arizona? I, I went a month. Okay. okay. Do you guys recall, whether it be a team or a player, while you were in college? Thank Paul, you. Paul, you remember who was your toughest player you played in college or the first time you seen someone like, oh, damn, or played against somebody or a team Thank that was you. just yeah, insane? Yeah, it was Arizona, dude. It was, it was Michael Dickerson. He was Man, he was a problem, I'm telling you. Because I had to see him uh, a couple years in a row in the tournament. He was a problem. Now, yeah. I ain't going to lie. And he uh, had back issues in the league, right? Was that what yeah. that, that, I mean, that, his that, first step, Memphis, that's his was, first step was incredible. He never could get right, like, but his first yeah, step was He was one of the top real. players I had to match up with in the tournament like consecutive years. And I was like, dude, it, I had to match up with him, my, I think, my freshman year and sophomore year. I was like, this dude is incredible. I could not stop him. <laughs> <You're right. laughs> he was strong. Strong yeah. shit, I think right? his daddy was a boxer. He was built like a boxer or something, because I got to know him. Uh, how did I get to know him? Probably, I think we made some preseason All-American teams after, and I got to know him and just learn a little bit about him. But he was a problem for me. I ain't going to lie. Yeah, Michael Dixon like, was tough. Did you say... Like, I'm gonna shut him down tonight. No, well, like, you didn't know nothing too much about him, but then when you finally play against somebody, because I felt like I was one of the top players, so yeah. I was like, you know. I'm good, right? I'm straight. You know, he, I'm, had I'm, one I'm, of the he, had, he had one of the most live dribble jabs that's the J quickest. I mean, it was the quickest. You, you no, already know. It was unreal. It was like, a, it was like a, a, I can't even explain it, but he he buy you. Yeah. And I was like, damn, I'm ready for it, and I know what he gonna do. Yeah. And he just keep going by yeah. me. I'm mm -hmm. like, God. And then he had the pull up jumper. And then he was strong, so he hit me with the shoulder. And I was like, I ain't never felt this before. I'd have matched up with some cool cats, mm -hmm. but he was he was a problem. Mm. Cheryl, what about you? No. Nothing. Nobody. Everybody, no. got, <laughs> hey, everybody, everybody got cooked. Hey, everybody got cooked. Cheryl, Cheryl was everybody else's nightmare. Yeah. She was, yeah, she, she was ahead of the game, playing. bro. She was ahead of the no. game. It, it wasn't two, three Cheryls out there at that no. time. It, it, it wasn't. It wasn't like that. I don't remember like a a player, but like the University of Texas. Just tough. Like, they, they were just good. Mm -hmm. And for me, it was a little different because I left, right? So every time we played them, I went into a game saying that Jody Conrad, who was the coach that recruited me, told them, like, give her the business because mm -hmm. she left. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know if that was true, but I thought that. Yeah. So Definitely every time, that. right? So every time we played them, it was, it was a battle. And I took it personally, so it was just a I different approach for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What about for y'all? Hey, hey, you, you, know, you, know you know the last person who said it like that on video? Mm -hmm. Remember what MJ said? Mike, I took that personally. That's why I just tapped you. Yeah. I took that personally. You sounded just me, like MJ. Yeah, for me, yeah. it was probably uh, Arizona, yeah, too, because yeah. when I was at Arizona, they had Gilbert Arenas, yeah. uh, RJ, Ooh, uh, yeah, so match Michael up. Wright, rest in peace. Mm -hmm. uh, they Wright. had good teams there, like real. And then Duke had like Boozer, Jay Will that never, the Jay Will that the ESPN. I don't think people know how cold Jay Will was. Kyle, oh, he was unbelievable. Oh, he, was, yeah. he was like was nice. Kyle, he was Jay Will killing. was nice as a he motherfucker. Was nice. Man, Jay Will was super nice. He so was probably say Arizona was too. Yeah. Duke. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Those are those dudes. They set the bar, but especially Gilbert. That's what kind of was Gilbert. So I remember coming, because you know you know the UCLA pickup games. I remember Gil used to come to UCLA, and they would never let him play. 
Yeah. For some reason, he went to Grant High School. He never let him play, so Gil would shoot on the side. Hmm. And sometimes between games, if I lost, I would rebound for him, and he would just shoot. And he always, I remember him telling, like, he he, he, he held that on, that was a chip on his shoulder. So when he came into college, bro, Gilbert, I remember he gave our boy Ray Young, like, a cool 40-piece. Yeah. Oh, no, oh. that Ray Young. Oh. Good Ray ass Young hair. was a great yeah. athlete. Hey, yeah, Ray was super good. Hold that Ray Young with that good ass hair. Yeah, no, nah, Gil, but Gil Damn. was a killer. Take that wow. 40. Gil was a killer. Matt, did you talk shit? What? I wasn't really a sh no, I wasn't, I was never, I you was a responder. Talk shit. You couldn't no. talk shit in college. No, in, co I know you know, in college, you can't. You can't, dog. College you can't talk shit. You, 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 so you, so you, so you abided by rules in college? You, they'll throw you oh, out. No, okay. I was just like, like, I was okay. I was okay. 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 I did in high school and in the streets, but when you got to college, you said one thing. It was different. That is true, though. It was different. Because I know how to do it. You didn't see like quick. Super different, yeah. Super different. That's why college wasn't really for you. I got drug tested in college? Yep. Yeah, I couldn't have done it. <laughs> I still made it work, but yeah, we did. Uh, quick promo this year, B Dubs is running back their overtime wing time promo. Get this if a men's or women's tournament game goes into overtime, you get free, fr six free boneless wings. Six free of them boys. Boneless, though. Free. I'm talking about it. On in if you Step feel like it. To you, uh, HBCUs have really been making a heavy push. Uh, mm -hmm. You're someone that's integral in that. You've donated money to your brother Bonzi and his program. Uh, explain what you'll be doing um, for the HBCU tournament. Uh, well, I'm honored to be doing the opening monologue for the HBCU All-Star Game. They're not making you read, are they? Yeah, they, was, they oh, are, but shit. since I've been Don't doing do the show that, with you, man. my reading's gotten a lot better, as you see, because I'm reading now. <laughs> uh, yes, so I'm doing the opening monologue for, this, uh, for the HBCU All-Star Game, which is going to be awesome. I'm honored to be able to do that. My mom went to TSU okay. uh, right in Houston, where the game has been okay. held. Right well, there in Third Ward, where I was born and raised. Yes. I was five. Uh, rest in peace, George Floyd. So. Uh, being here and uh, having an all-star game, the HBCU all-star game here in Houston, I think it's great um, to, be, to be able to bring it also to where George was from in that, in that TSU area. It's beneficial for a lot of people to be able to come out and support the HBCU uh, brand. And the all-star game is this the second year for the all-star game. And, uh, That's dope. I'm, I'm excited to be involved. You know, I didn't get That's a chance good. to go to college, but if I could help shine light on the HBCUs right. and yes. be a part of it, need it. Uh, uh, of getting it to where it needs to be, I'm definitely on. So shout out to CBS, and I appreciate it. Because I'm, I'm a big fan of the HBCU, but we all know, you know, we all went to big colleges. The resources are so much different when you go to a UCLA, a Kansas, a Texas Tech, but <clears throat> obviously we want to push HBCUs, but they need funding. Right. Mm -hmm. So being able to do stuff like this shines light on it. <clears throat> and I think it's very important because they have an opportunity. You see what Deion Sanders did. You see Mo Williams is over there coaching now. Yeah. Bonzi. Yep. Yep. Um, who else? Oh, J.R. Smith. J.R. Smith. <clears throat> Gone back to college and golf. Yep. So there's a light on it right now, but they definitely need that kind of funding. So I think it's important. Uh, everybody's favorite all time. Flavor on the wing. Cheryl, you first. Lemon pepper all day. Okay. Every day. Okay. I'm eating them right now. Lemon peas. Lemon pepper. For you? Original buffalo. Original buffalo. You, yeah. Keep it simple. But they broke, don't fix that boy. So my favorite is lemon pepper as well, but I would like to make a suggestion if I'm allowed to, buffalo wild wings. Lemon pepper barbecue. Give that a shot. Well, since you made some suggestions, okay, what let's you try honey hot. Okay. It's popular in the black community. We might need to do a all the smoke, mat and stack. Exception. Collab. Collab. I like that. Next time around. In route. Out. When you bring us back this summer, let's give that a try. Yeah. Buffalo Wild Wings. I, know we love I like chicken. that. We eat your wings. We love it, and we love to get No, the brothers love chicken. You're going to have to give them the recipe. There we go. All right, mm -hmm. top five. We, this is going to be a collaborative effort. It could be men you or... You don't say the word again? Collaborative. Man, that's my goal. Okay. Goal. Top five all-time college players. Oh, this is going to be a, a, this is gonna be a group. I'm going to start it off Ooh. with Pistol Pete. I think for me, I'm going to name Grant Hill is up there. Oh, Ooh. gosh. Because I used to watch him. Men or women? Cheryl Miller. Ooh, good call. The O'Bannon brothers. Oh, that's two of them. Both of them. Let's Both just go them. with Ed. Oh, OK, Ed. we go with Ed. Ed that's was a four. Four. Who's the last one? We got Shaq. Shaq, I was about to say. <laughs> Shaq. That's a good one. So we no, got. No, 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 no. You know what? But if you want to say just college Christian players. Christian Leitner. Nah, yeah. Mahmoud, Mahmoud. Ooh, Mahmoud, was, Mahmoud. Mahmoud was a problem. Good call. Yeah. Mahmoud, dog. Yep. Good call. Good call. So we oh got Pistol Pete, Mahmoud, Cheryl Miller. Who'd you pick? I said Grand Oh, you Hill. said Mahmoud. Oh, Grant Hill. Mahmoud or Grant Hill. You got Ed O'Bannon. I want to change mine to Randolph Childress. Ooh, Wake Forest. Wake Forest. He was killing. Then who'd he cross over? Ed Cota? Jeff McGinnis. McGinnis. Jeff McGinnis. Oh, Hit the McGinnis. Dick and looked at him. 
Damn, Jeff, yeah, my all bad. all the kids across America doing that. My bad, Jeff. Right. I mean, I think I already know this answer. You guys can shout it out at the same time. Drums or flats and One, why? One, two, three. Flats! Flats. <laughs> why you guys like flats so much? Easier to eat. Easier to eat. I was going to say that. Yeah. yeah, and you can eat them quicker. I, the, they taste better to me. Okay. I don't know. Okay. Mm. Everybody. Easier to eat. And I, th I think there's a little bit more meat on the flats than the drum. Okay. Mm, okay. I like your reasoning. Okay. okay. Yeah, like B-Dub and Drip. B-Dub has the best sauces. Uh, who, uh, what are the athletes you feel like have the best drip in any sport? It don't even have to be basketball. Who's Dang. someone that's just a... Don't feel, bad if, like, don't feel like you have to say my name, because you know that's the answer. But don't feel like you have to say my name. Stop. I, I, must admit, I know you, you, got, you got good drip. Ooh. Okay. I know your answer. Yeah, he does. You got good drip. I ain't gonna fly, lie. Fly, fly I ain't got no fly drip. Fly at drippy athletes. You know who got the who got who got good drip? Who I've been peeping lately? Uh, that kid from Oklahoma, Shay. Shay Gill. Yeah. Shea he be Gilgis. on me with the shit. Okay. Yeah, I like I, I like his style. Okay. Who would you say that? Who would you say? I'm going college. Okay. Yeah. Coach. Coach. The one and only Texas. Dawn Staley. Dawn Staley's Staley's fire. Shout out Dawn. Like, she's fresh all, all the, the time. Fly. All the time. So what's the coach fly. for Texas? Uh, so, so, the assistant? Yes. Yeah. Sydney Carter. Oh, Sydney Carter. Yeah. Yeah. She yes. Fly. Yes. Yeah, she flopped. Yeah, she flopped. Yeah, Sid, shout Low out key. Sid. Yeah, shout out Sid. I'm You're the only thing them. I like about the University of Texas. Sydney, she fly. Yeah. She is. Jack, that's your pick too? <laughs> Who said? Yeah. No. I'm going to go with an NBA player because, you know, I'm going to say... Russell Westbrook. Okay. Shout out Russell. He wear a lot of stuff that look weird, but I like the fact that his confidence. confidence I wear what I want to wear. Damn, if you like it or not. How many wings can you eat in one sitting, Paul? How many wings can you eat in one sitting? I've counted mine, so I know my answer. I'm going to say 24. <laughs> oh, a 24 gosh. pack? Damn, Shout that's out a cold. lot. That's a 24 lot. Pack. 24. Cheryl? I'm going half of that, 12. 12. 12 piece. Jack. I ate 19 before at one sitting. <laughs> bone in or bone out? Oh, definitely bone in. Don't do that. <laughs> I mean, I'm thinking you watching a game over the course of two and a half hours. I can't hours. say what I want to say. I'm going to knock out Bone 24. in. Y'all I mean, know. Y'all know. I, during this show, I probably ate about 11. I, if I was know. really on one, yeah, I'm probably yeah, in the 20s. But you said in one sitting. Yeah. I'll yeah. eat right. 12, and then I'll go do some stuff. And then come back. Yeah. Well, wings are something you could like, because even if they get cold, they still good. Yeah. You like, still so, Most food, if they get cold, is done. Yeah. The wings, you can fuck around with wings all day. You can fall asleep day. right here on this bed. Day. Right here on this bed back <laughs> there. This, this you B &B and then bed. wake up, eat some wings, go back to sleep, eat some hot sauce, go back to sleep. On the put, the, put the jacket on and try it on. Go back to sleep, eat some of these. And they all going to be good. And they all so the jacket, good. How about put the PJs on? You can put yes. the PJs on, too. It might be too. more comfortable. They got the, the whole that's room that's in here. Oh, they got everything, bro. We got slippers for them, too. Hey! You did. Okay. Best sport to watch, I think this is a tosser for me. Best sport to watch while eating wings and why? I would say boxing for me. Ooh, okay. I'm a big time a boxing crossover. fan. I'm like getting that. nice with my hands. I had a long week of boxing in Fight Town. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm hurting right now. I'm shout just out to Charlo it. Brothers. Yep, shout out Rich really? Rose too. I'm yeah. hurting right now. Y'all don't know it, but yeah. it's been a tough we, week with them guys. We appreciate who? you making yes, it yes, too, bro. I appreciate it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I made it through. I made it through. But, uh, no, but for who? me, boxing. Ro who? Huh? Who you say, Ro who? Raul Marquez. Rose? Oh, Rose. Oh, no, that's Rose. Rose. Rich Rose. Producer, producer okay. of our show. Producer oh, okay. of the show. Yeah, <laughs> my God. Cheryl, I thought you were going to say. Cheryl, favorite Rich sport Rose. to uh, eat okay. wings and Ooh, watch. Oh, it's probably a toss up for me. Absolutely hoops. I'm going to say hoops and football. Yep. That's mine. Football. Football. football for sure. Yeah. Because that's a Sunday, middle of the day. Yeah. Um, I'd be um, locking um, a man um, cave um, with some tree and don't fuck with me and my wings. If it's not right. sports, I love to watch. All the smoking wings. Okay, plug. yeah, shameless plug. Now we are playing a game called The Truth or Dare. The Truth. Truth. It's what that else? time of the night, y'all. Paul and Cheryl and Stack. Here, here we go. First up, Stack. Scroll through your contacts and FaceTime the person it lands on. Oh. Or, or you can eat one of the blazing hot Carolina Reapers. No, Reaper. I'm going to scroll and FaceTime somebody. Scroll! <laughs> just scroll. You don't get to pick. I, I, oh, I don't? No, you no, scroll. scroll. So, oh, OK, OK, hold on, hold on, hold on. Close your eyes and scroll. Let them get on there. I'm going to go text. Nope, go Bam. right to the con. Just scroll. Right scroll. Tell me Ready, Bam. pick. Oh. Push. Push. No, I can't call that person. <laughs> Okay. Well, that's cool. They got a good answer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my gosh. We need napkins. Cheryl, your childhood crush. You skipped one. 
Well, I mean, I just, he's eating right now, so I'm gonna go back to it. Oh, oh that's no big deal. Nah, Matt What's ain't feeding me shit anyway. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I gotta take that shit off. Matt ain't feeding me a goddamn thing. <laughs> That's cold blood right there. Hey, me a goddamn thing. Erase that one. <laughs> Cheryl, try to look Oh, my, oh my gosh. Is that hot? You got the reaper. That's why you got ice cream. You got the reaper. No, you got to eat ice cream. You got the reaper. You got the reaper. Cheryl, you're crushed. Childhood crush. Um, Say his name. First and last. If he's married now, it's okay. Ooh. Oh, I mean, yeah, that's not a... Michael Jordan. I got another spoon. MJ! Michael Jordan. Okay. Yes. That's cool. For real? Right. Childhood, adulthood. Paul, put your mouth under the Buffalo Ranch and get a mouthful or hey, eat I, a hot wing. Oh, What's the Buffalo Ranch? Overheat, where's it at? Right here. Some milk. Oh, what you mean, put my wait, mouth wait. under there? <laughs> you gotta, <laughs> you gotta, you gotta, gotta go pump the shit in your mouth. You gotta go stand under it. Nah. Come on. Oh, don't. Oh. Oh, hey, I need that spoon. I need that spoon. So I need that spoon. A couple pumps of the Buffalo Ranch or eat a hot wing. <laughs> I get spoon. That shit's hot. It's that's hot, hot too. No, that's the wings not, are hot. That's, that's not, not hot. Uh-uh. You gonna get some ranch? Is hot. Yeah, yeah, we I'm gonna get some ranch. I'm that's seeing hot. hot. We gonna get some ranch. Hold on, I'm seeing how Jack reacting, dog. I'll hold it for you. Fuck that. Fuck that. I'm so glad I didn't have that one. Oh, the ice cream worked. That's funny. Ice cream worked, though. That's a lot. No, it don't. No, it don't. No, it don't. Oh, is that as hot as that, though? The buffalo is that hot? ranch. It's cool. That's yeah. cool. That's just spicy. That ain't nothing. Oh, my gosh. Cheryl, have you ever nah, actually cool. text somebody something bad that was meant for another person? Wait a minute. Have you actually texted somebody you know, and what, what? accidentally text the wrong person something? Yeah, yeah, so that's a sure. yes or no answer. It was meant. I mean, so I'm going to say yes or no. <laughs> that means eat a wing. No, it Stat. does not. You can't change the wing. <laughs> that was a trick question. You can't change the Wait a minute. Let me read. I don't have my glasses. I'll show up. Okay. You ever accidentally Trust text me. someone something bad that was meant for another person? <laughs> yeah. But why am I eating? Just because. Because you say yes. Because you want to say yes. You know what? I there am you go. a mother. There you go. team player. How about that? Oh, Stat. my God. I'm seeing how Stat hey, reacts. Nice. You don't get to hey. eat the whole bowl. This, ice cream? I, I asked for hey, another spoon. This might be the hardest one. Stack, say something nice Ooh. about Tony Parker. Eat another wing. <laughs> Tony Parker won a championship on the San Antonio Spurs. How about that? That's nice. That's nice. Congratulations, Tony. <laughs> Do I have to eat the whole thing or Holy just the piece? Holy shit, man. Yeah. I got one. Eat a wing without using your hand. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you better not. You better not. <laughs> yeah, what do what I got to do instead? If you don't want to do it, I'm going to do it your hands. OK, I'll eat it with my hands. Nobody said. If you eat that with no hands, nobody's watching all the smoke no more. Yeah, come on, they bro. Go, that's going to kill us. Fuck all you the smoke. Do that. We just not eating wings without hands. Yeah, that's right. going to kill us. That's going to kill us if you do that. That's going to kill us. <laughs> now, what is going mm -hmm. on? Who can, can I vote with? Can oh I get some God. Sprite, please? Y'all fucking us up. I don't even oh like God. this game no more. See, y'all messing up. You're supposed to dip the wing nah, in ice cream. That. Yeah, she the, needs some milk. Dip this shit in ice. You're supposed to dip mm -hmm. the wing in ice cream. Mm -hmm. Paul, there, there wasn't no rules there, Cheryl. Stop. The most mm -hmm. embarrassing locker room moment, you Paul. You don't get to do that. Damn, my most embarrassing Damn. locker oh room moment. Oh, this is no good. Oh. This is no good. Oh. I got no detail. Mm. Oh, oh, this is no, oh, 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 ice cream, that shit oh. still tap dancing on my stomach. Most embarrassing uh. moment in the locker room. Oh, most embarrassing moment. Oh, 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 oh. Uh. Man, I uh. Most embarrassing moment in the locker room? Oh, I already got hiccups. Whenever I eat hot shit, I get hiccups. Oh, when you get the hiccups? Yeah, I don't like that. When it's too hot, I do. Oh, shit. Hey, man, get this, man. Hey, get this on tape. Hey, record this. Is y'all recording this? Is y'all recording this? I'm the only one who ain't ate one yet. Damn, this is, this, is that real? Is that real? It's real, Pop. Oh, my God. Damn. Oh, my God. I, oh damn, my God. is that real? <laughs> oh my God, the hey, show is over. Man. It's oh over, God. dog. The show is over. Hey, he Mexican and can't take it, so you know that. <laughs> Can oh we get some Mexican, uh, some uh, napkins, please? Oh Most my God. embarrassing locker room bowl. I think I. Uh, oh my God, that shit's hot. Holy hell. Maybe slipping, slipping Ooh. on the way to the shower. Naked. Oh <laughs> yeah, <laughs> naked. <laughs> 
<laughs> Share a most embarrassing locker room moment. Can we get some more ice cream? Man, them is real, oh, huh? Oh, no. Come on, P. Just join in. Oh, Come on. Get down with it. I don't you feel left uh, out. I feel the burn. All right, hold on. Shit. Let it burn. All right, look. I'm going to prove, I'm prove to y'all that these ain't shit. Okay, yeah. You feel me? Good. They over here acting like, oh, my God. you know what That's I'm saying? Let me do a commercial with us. These ain't shit. Let it burn. You feel me? Look how they acted. You got to I'm going to take this cream. down. I ain't going to need no water. Let's see. No ice cream. Oh, okay, yeah. Go ahead, go ahead, P. Feel me? Yeah, over here. These ain't weak. Go ahead, P. You know what I'm saying? Hold on. Let me look at it for a second. You got to examine it. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? You feel me, Your, finger, your, your, your feel finger's me? getting hot, huh? I'm going to show you how to do it. I'm going to show take this My down. My damn lips are just sitting there. Jack, last question yeah. for everybody. How would you rate your looks on a scale of 1 to 10? On a 1 to 10, to be honest with myself, I ain't going to go crazy. I know I ain't the handsomest in the world, but I'm going to say 10. OK. Cheryl, 1 to 10. <laughs> Depends on the day. Best day. Right now. How you feeling yourself right now? I'm a 11. They okay, talk that shit. Yeah, I'm right there. Okay. Oh, then, oh, okay, oh then. finished it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, before like you answer. Shit. Okay. Yeah, okay, look. <laughs> you know I mean? Give me a napkin. That's all I need. Oh, you need a napkin? Okay, I can get you a napkin. We can get oh, you a napkin, P. Love. We can get you a napkin, P. It's a wrap on napkins, P. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hey, don't give him nothing to drink because it wasn't nothing, right? It's it wasn't nothing. Just a napkin. That's it all you need. Just a napkin. It wasn't nothing. Napkin. It's coming. You better chew on that napkin because you ain't getting no drink. Just you better drink that napkin because you ain't getting no water or nothing. You ain't getting nothing. You ain't getting nothing. Yeah. It ain't nothing, huh? Yeah, it's that ghost pepper. Yeah. See what it is? If you know what a ghost is? I'm cool. That's that You know what a ghost is? A ghost pop up on you and you don't see it. That's the flavors going in your tongue right now. It's all about the breathing. Your technique? I do yoga. And I do Pilates. It's I all about your breathing. That ain't got nothing to do with that. Yeah, we good. Look at Matt. What was the question again? <laughs> what, rate your look on Matt. a 1 to 10. Oh, <laughs> my look on a 1 to 10. Uh, I'm going to cool solid 8. OK. That's not an 8 When I get a cut, yeah, you I got my shades. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> Solid. <laughs> I'm, gonna get, I'm gonna give myself a 22 because that was my number. How about that? Thank you, Buffalo Wild Wings. That was Truth or Dare featuring Paul Pierce and Cheryl Swoop. Swoop. I got Woo! You gotta breathe. You gotta end day. And my brother cool. stacked five. We appreciate y'all. They We're Buffalo Wild to Wings, the, wing. the official home of March Madness. We'll see y'all this summer. Holy Woo. cow. Stack yeah. five. You need to know what you're getting into. This is not cops and robbers. The enemy is everywhere, but he can't be seen. Why me? None of this makes sense. It's a mind game, John. What have you gotten me into? I can't tell the difference between what's real and what's not.